Newton Crouch Incorporated presents technical tips. Hello, my name is Michael Carruth with Newton Crouch in Griffin, Georgia. Today we're going to be talking about the Raven Cruiser 2. When you first power up your Raven Cruiser fresh out of the box and then also each each time you power it up you're going to get a warning to not operate this guidance device on roads or, or near obstacles. So you just agree to that warning by pressing the green check. Now it goes into a setup mode and this only has to be one done one time when you first start operating your Raven Cruiser 2. So we want to check that we want English and we want to use the US measurement system. And now it asks you how wide your boom is. And that is how wide you're wanting to spread fertilizer or lime or how wide you're wanting to spray herbicides or pesticides. Uh, to come up with a correct width for spraying pesticides it would be the number of nozzles you have times the spacings of the nozzles. So if you have 25 nozzles on 20 inch spacings, you have a 500 inch width or 500 inch boom. And to change that, you would enter 5, 0, 0, and then the decimal. And then you'd hit your green button to go forward. Now you come to the orientation of the antenna to where your boom is at. The fore and after is if your antenna is before your boom or if your antenna is behind your boom. The check in the center of the tractor represents your antenna and the check mark in the center of the straight line represents your boom. Today we're operating with a piece of equipment that has the boom behind the antenna. So we would want to highlight the field where it says fore and after and we're going to say our boom is approximately 12 foot behind the antenna. So we'd enter 144 inches. One, four, four, decimal and enter. If your antenna was not in the center of your piece of equipment, you would enter in how far it is over to the left or how far it is over to the right. And that's where you would do that. You would just enter in, you know, 36 inches or uh, 12 inches, whatever it might be. But ours is right in the middle, so we're going to leave that alone. Our height is approximately six foot, so we're going to enter in 72 inches for six foot. Seven, two, and then the decimal. Once you've gone through the fore and after, the left and right, and the height, you would hit the home button and you would go further. But there's a couple things I wanted to point out before we go there. If your boom is in front of your sprayer, or it's in front of the antenna, then you would say that it's in front of the antenna by checking the implement in front and when you check the implement in front it's going to say that your antenna is behind your boom or either your boom is in front of your antenna the antenna position is important because it's letting the Raven Cruiser 2 know where the boom is in relation to the antenna. So it, when you get out in the field and the Raven Cruiser 2 is painting where you've applied, it knows where the product has quit applying and where it's where it started applying. So when we go further and we get into this demonstration more, you'll see painted sections. So if you don't have your antenna position right, then the painted sections won't be accurate. So it's important to get your antenna position right in this screen so your painted sections will be accurate. 
We hope this video has answered your questions. Technical assistance is available 24-7 on our YouTube channel or our website www.newtoncrouch.com. Call us at 800-241-1350. A real person will answer the phone. No recorded menus. Our knowledgeable staff will be glad to help you. Proudly Made in America, a family-owned business since 1940, Newton Crouch.